Well, it's because we don't actually pay the cost of our cheapest electricity. We pay the cost of our most expensive electricity that we are using at any given moment in time. Now, this requires some explaining. This time, I'm not using marbles. I'm using poker chips to help me illustrate this thing called the bid stack, which is how our energy market operator decides which energy suppliers get paid how much for the electricity we use in our grid. It's a known fact that brown coal can provide reliable baseload power for as little as $60 per megawatt hour or six cents per kilowatt hour. Black coal costs a little bit more. Now that's the wholesale price, so obviously the consumer price would have to be significantly higher to cover the cost of the transmission and all of the infrastructure that's needed to get that power to our homes and businesses. So I'm not suggesting that six cents per kilowatt hour should be our retail price. I'm just saying that that's the cheapest baseload power that we have. And I'm going to represent all coal with these black poker chips. Then there's gas. Now, gas is considerably more expensive than coal, but still very cheap as a baseload and peaking power supply. What do I mean by that? Well, over the course of every day, how much power we need in the grid fluctuates quite dramatically. And the input of power to the grid needs to very closely match the consumption of power in the grid, or else bad things start to happen very quickly.